Hello everyone, welcome to The Biggest Ideas in the Universe. I'm your host, Sean Carroll. This is the introductory video for what I hope is going to be a set of short informal videos, short, I don't really know, but informal, absolutely, about what I think are the biggest ideas in physics, in science, in the way that we understand the natural world in which we live. So the basic idea is gonna be every week, I will try to produce one of these little videos where I pick a big idea, okay, space, force, time, something like that. And I talk about it in a way that hopefully is absolutely accessible to everybody. There's no prerequisites involved or anything like that. The concepts, the specific ideas that we get to will get pretty advanced as the series goes on, but there's not gonna be any need to be already a physics junkie or anything like that to really understand what we're talking about. It's supposed to be a way to help everyone out there think about the biggest ideas that we have when it comes to understanding our natural world. Now you might ask, why would I do this? For one thing, don't I already have a day job? And I do. I'm a theoretical physicist at Caltech and the Santa Fe Institute. I also host a podcast, the Mindscape podcast, and I write books, most recently something called Something Deeply Hidden about quantum mechanics in many worlds. So I have a lot going on, but there's something new that has come in right now, of course, depending on when you are watching this, you are either well aware or may not know that we're in the early stages of the coronavirus or COVID-19 pandemic worldwide. It is right now March 19th, 2020. So we are just now beginning to take super duper seriously the need for things like staying at home, social distancing, a little bit of self-isolation or whatever you wanna call it, ways to slow down the spread of this virus that currently we have no way of curing or vaccinating against. So. This is a spooky, surreal thing for a lot of people, myself included, probably less so for someone like me who very often works at home and whose work is sort of inward focused from the start. But for a lot of people who work at regular jobs out there that might have shut down for the epidemic or people who are just extroverted and like to go out every night, this can be a really, really trying time. So all of us are looking for ways to both get through it ourselves and to sort of keep connections going with other people, even if we can't actually go out to a restaurant or bar or concert or movies and hang with them, okay? So my friend Lauren Gunderson, who is a very successful playwright, suggested on Twitter that she was going to host some playwriting classes on the internet. And I thought that was a wonderful idea. So I tried to think about what I could do that would sort of share some knowledge that I have in a way that would be interesting to people. Now, I don't have any knowledge that is in any way helpful to fighting pandemics, okay? The kinds of physics I do are not the kinds that help you understand how viruses spread or anything like that. So I'm not gonna be talking about that. I'm not gonna pretend that my knowledge is in any way relevant to that. So after this introductory video, there's not gonna be any more mentions of COVID-19, coronavirus, pandemics, anything like that. But what I can do is talk about the physics that I do know and that I know that everyone likes a little bit, but maybe they haven't had time to catch up on some of the basics. So from my perspective, from my own peace of mind, rather than fretting about the spread of the virus, I get to work on this new project, but I also want it to be a little bit of a community interaction project. So what I'm going to do is after every single video, I will wait a couple days. I will let questions accumulate either on YouTube or on my blog or on Twitter or whatever and then I will try to pick out some of the best questions and do another video addressing those questions. There's all sorts of different formats one can take for something like this, right? Like I thought about just teaching a high level course with all the equations and all that stuff, but there's already good courses out there and also it would be work. <laughs> and I think that the fact that it's work does not bother me, but it would slow down the whole process. I wanted to dive into something that I could just do right away with minimal preparation. So if you're interested in the higher level stuff, I recommend you go to courses like edX or Coursera, where they have really, really good, high-level, massive online courses. I love taking these courses. You can get everything all the way up to quantum field theory and particle physics there. For a slightly more intermediate level, check out the Great Courses or the Great Courses Plus. I've done courses for them. They're a little bit more slick. You have to pay to get them, but you get higher production values and things like that. We are at the lowest production value set of uh, standards we have right here at The Biggest Ideas in the Universe. I did splurge a little bit, you know, again, keeping myself uh, 
distracted, I'm not sure is the word, but at least something fun to do while we're in this social distancing situation. I bought a green screen, check that out. Hopefully this is working, I'm not really sure. Even better, I figured out how to write things on a pad on my iPad and put them on the video. So watch this. Hopefully this will work, right? The biggest ideas. We're gonna try it anyway. So while I'm talking during the videos, I will be able to write and draw little stick figure, very primitive pictures, just as if I were talking in front of a blackboard and you were in a class or something like that. So that's kind of fun. Again, you know, it keeps my brain engaged. We'll see how that goes. So I think this is important in a way, or at least hopefully it'll serve some purpose. Okay, again, I'm not helping anyone understand how to deal with the virus or anything like that. But I also don't think that we give up on all of life when we're in situations like this. It is weird, it's unprecedented in my lifetime to be in this kind of social isolation situation. But we have to both survive and also move forward a little bit, right? We have to get through the day, but we also have to grow and change as human beings, right? Getting together is becoming very, very difficult right now, but talking to each other over the internet, over technology, is something that we now can do that we couldn't have done a few decades ago, so we can take advantage of that. So of all the ways that we can continue to grow and flourish as human beings, what better way is there than to know and learn and understand just a little bit more about how the universe works? Hopefully we'll be able to provide that a little bit. Come back for the next video and we'll see how it goes.